The Apple Watch Ultra has been announced with longer battery life aimed at those taking on longer endurance events. So ultimately that puts Garmin and Coros squarely in the crosshairs of Apple, but can the specs match up to that? This one boasts a 36 hour battery life or 60 hours in a new low power mode, which is going to reduce the frequency of GPS and also use fewer heart rate readings. These are Apple's figures, so we'd like to see how it performs in the real world. If you'd like to see us test it, give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. There are a few key differences. It's bigger for one, so it has a bigger screen, which should be easier to read when you're getting tired. It has dual frequency GPS for better accuracy in built up areas. And it has a dedicated action button, which you can set to make an action that you like. So maybe that start a workout, mark a waypoint on a run or call for help. There's a nice feature where you can customize your compass points. So that might point you back to your tent or the start of a trail. And also it should survive between minus 20 degrees and plus 55 degrees Celsius. But are those features going to be enough? 36 hours battery life is still nowhere near what the other manufacturers can offer. So what do you think? Let us know.